These are the products to make the two recipes for Japaning. The recipe that uses the pre-prepared asphaltum creates a 40-40-20 mix uses 280 ml of the Seinfelder's liquid asphaltum and 60 ml of purified cold pressed BLO boiled linseed oil that's one recipe the other recipe <clears throat> uses 50% turpentine, 30% asphaltum, the actual mine material known also as gilsonite, and then 20% of boiled linseed oil. I'm going to make both of these formulas and we'll compare those to see which one seems to be the best before we apply it and bake it. I've got these two container containers for both of these mixtures. We'll first start with this. To make one quarter of the recipe, we're going to use 15 ml of this. If I can get it open. A few smart blows with the hammer loosened it, but then the paper cap had to be taken off with utility blade. I have a syringe and a needle we're going to use for precision. Boy, this is thick. Fifteen ml of this. <coughs> There's 10. Get five more. Okay. Fifteen ml. Now for the asphaltum, seventy. That's pretty thick too. It's actually very thick. I might have to draw it off with just the syringe without the needle. Yeah, that works better. There's 10. I shook the can vigorously before this. Twenty. And again, this is a mixture of asphaltum plus turpentine. Forty. Fifty. 
50. Okay, one more. This is seventy. I would have to say this ruined this syringe, which is fine. There. All right, let's toss that, get rid of that thing. So, the directions further say to let this sit for at least 72 hours, which is what we'll do. We'll stir it up and then we'll let it sit. It cleans up well with mineral spirits, I will say that, because I just cleaned my hands up with that. So let's get a nice stir going, stirring the asphaltum with the blow, the boiled linseed oil. And then we'll let this sit for 72 hours and assess it. If it's too thin, we add more asphaltum. If it's too thick, more boiled linseed oil. So again, this recipe is a 50-30-30-50-30, sorry, 20, 50 30 20 and uh, I borrowed some of these from you know who. Oh boy. Gotta be sure we return these in perfect condition. Okay, this is a 15 mil scooper duper level. So we'll be sure it's nice and level. Fifteen. Now I'll get a syringe and do these two. Okay. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. Now let's see if we can drop 20 with another syringe because this All right, that is quite accurate. Seems kind of light, but it will set up after a while. This recipe recommends this set aside for 24 hours, so we will do that and come back and look at it and see how it go how it turns out. This mixture of the Seinfeld's liquid asphaltum and the Swedish cold pressed linseed oil seems to really have delivered a nice consistency that's thick yet runny. So you can kind of see that here. I think this is going to be the one. Let's just quick clean this up with some acetone on this shop towel. There's some debris in here. You got a little surface rust that I 
cleaned up with the wire wheel. Now I just want to ensure that it's really clean and ready to go. There are many brushes you can use to apply this. I'm going to put this, apply this with a an acid brush and try to get a uniform coating on it. I know the vertical surfaces are going to be a problem, but we'll see. I want a pretty, pretty nice even coat here. We don't want to paint the machine surfaces for the frog, so we'll stay away from those. And we're going to clean this up when we're done by getting all of the japanning off of the front edge and the sides, but we're going to leave it on the back edge. That's the authentic, that's the authentic appearance. Okay, here we go. I think it's ready to go into the oven for some baking. I'll do my best to keep it level to get a nice coating on here. So we'll bring it outside to the oven. I'm baking it outside in a toaster oven. It didn't quite fit. It's at an angle, so I elevated on the cooking thermometer or on the um, oven thermometer and then I lit lifted the other end up to keep it nice and level. We'll bring it up to about 250 for an hour and see how it looks. So we have the plain body in the toaster oven <clears throat> and now we're heating it up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit for an hour. And I've got the oven thermometer in there and the temperature is going up quite well right now. So our first baking with the japanning, the asphaltum, great success. Take a look. Beautiful color. That perfect brown black color, nice and shiny. Really looks good. Now of course, I got some on some of these areas we're going to get off. You can see that I got a little bit. But now I've rigged up my toaster oven so I can lay this flat so it shouldn't flow. And we'll put another coat on here and I think our japanning will be done. I did bake it to 250 for an hour and then let it cool down. Went up to 300 for an hour, let it cool down. 350 an hour and let it cool down. And 375 an hour let it cool down and it's excellent. So it looks like it's really cured well. We'll put another coat on and repeat the heating process and the, to, to bake this in. All right, let's put another layer of this asphaltum and cold pressed oiled linseed oil. We'll stir it up. We'll just just apply it. It stayed on the vertical surfaces really well. Trying to keep it off the machine surfaces so we can keep those nice for the contact with the frog. I'm sure I'll have to redo that a little bit. Get the vertical surfaces first, then the horizontal surfaces, and of course, being authentic. The end is black, is japanned, whereas the front is not. Nor are these sides, which we're going to tune up in a little bit. So we'll bake this here in a second. So here it is. It fits in there nicely. It is a little bit of a tight fit, 
So it requires a bungee cord just to hold it nice and snug. And we'll fire this up to start with 250 and we'll run it for an hour. Well, I am so pleased. We've now finished the japanning. I've done two coats of the mixture, which is the Senfelders of Spaltum. Kind of difficult to read. There you go. And the boiled linseed oil. And look at how beautiful that turned out. Can you see that really nice shine? That luster, that classic black brown coloration even on the sidewalls it turned out really nicely it's nice and hard it's dry there's the, it's it, it's been baked I baked it up to 400 degrees for an hour and this really really took well two coats of the of the uh, japanning and then we've got a truly authentic beautiful um, coating on the inside of this which is rust preventative but now I've just got to clean up a little of the overlap here and a bit on the base which I'll do and also get back to these four machined points for the frog and we'll put this baby back together and see how she does <laughs>